In this video, we're gonna talk about Backpack, which is the affiliate program you can use within ClickFunnels if you have their Edison Suite plan. So that way you can have affiliates promote your products and services. Now, real quick before I get into it, it's not the most intuitive platform in the world, and it's gonna take a little bit of practice just to play around with it and see how things kind of fit together. But this video is gonna put you on the right track so that way you can hopefully, you know, get things set up and running in the right direction. All right, so first things first, we wanna to go to the funnel that we want to have affiliates for. So locate your funnel, and we gotta add a couple steps to the funnel. So we'll do affiliate access and create funnel step. And you wanna to come to affiliates here and do affiliate access. And then you can go ahead and select whatever template looks good to you. Again, just like any other thing, any other template inside of ClickFunnels, you can change it later if you want to. So it's not set in stone or anything like that. So we got our affiliate access, then we need an affiliate area as well. So add another step, area, create funnel step, and go to affiliates and affiliate area. Now we can go ahead and select whichever template we want to get started with. Again, can customize it so it's not set in stone necessarily. So we now have an affiliate access and affiliate area. And as you'll notice up here, we have links to these particular areas and you'll see that it uses your ClickFunnels subdomain. Now, unfortunately, you cannot change this to be like your unique domain. So I can't do like the ultimate cfcourse.com slash affiliates. Uh, unfortunately, it, that does not work. It's the affiliate platforms are based on the ClickFunnels subdomain. So just wanted to note that to you real quick that that's something to be mindful of. Now you can change the page path so you can make that cleaner if you want to, but I'm not gonna worry about that for this video. All right, so we got our affiliate access and affiliate area now set up. Now we'll go into backpack, so backpack, and we wanna go to commission plans and add commission plan. And I'm gonna call this affiliate. So this is where my affiliates are going to go into this commission plan. Now you might have partners in which case you'd probably make a partner commission plan. But really, I typically only have like one commission plan, which is just affiliates. And you can have different levels of affiliates within that particular commission plan. So then we got currency, USD, status active. And then I wanna set this as my default plan. So that way, most people are just gonna be affiliates. Create commission plan. And now I wanna go ahead and open this commission plan. And I want to add an affiliate type to this commission plan. And this is where I'll essentially set up the levels of commissions that I want to give my affiliates. So I might have like a 20% commission affiliate. And maybe I'll set that as the default. And then maybe for like my better affiliates, I'll go ahead and do an affiliate type of 40% commission. So I have, you know, higher end affiliates that I want to give a bigger commission, or maybe I have partners. Uh, I could go ahead and make a new affiliate type for them. So now what I wanna go ahead and do is add, click the add next to the 20% and do 20 for amount and months before payout. So I wanna set like a delay before I pay these affiliates to make sure there's no refunds or anything like that. So if you wanna wait one month before payout or maybe you wanna wait two months, you wanna do 60 days, whatever's in your affiliates terms and conditions, go ahead and set that up. We can do percentage or fixed and then add affiliate schedule and then come down to the 40% and I'll do 40 one month before payout percent add affiliate schedule. And so there we go. I basically have my two different types of commissions, 20% and 40%. Now what I want to go ahead and do is go back to my funnel, go to open my shoe funnel and I want to go to settings in the funnel level settings. So this blue row right here, I'll scroll on down. I wanna make sure that affiliates are enabled, and then I wanna go ahead and select my commission plan, which is affiliate here. I could also set up an affiliate manager email if I wanna set up a point of contact for my affiliates. So maybe I'll do support at the ultimatecfcourse.com. All right, cool, save and update settings. And then I also wanna go ahead and make sure that my products have uh, the, the affiliate permission. So I'll go to my sales page, order form, go to products, and I'll hit the edit button. And I wanna go to affiliates here, and I wanna say, is this product commissionable? And then I could choose to override the default commission plan. 
So I could select a different commission plan if I want to based on whichever product. I'm gonna keep it as the, the default and hit update product. And I'll just double check everything, make sure it's commissionable and that looks good. Same thing with this product, affiliates, check the block, okay. Same thing with the OTO products, uh, assuming that I want people to be able to earn a commission on them as well. So I could go ahead and make sure that that is all set up, right? So I go through all the products, make sure I have the correct settings for each. And now we wanna go ahead and just test things out. So we'll go back to backpack, we'll go to affiliates and I don't have any affiliates here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do add new affiliate and I'm just gonna make a dummy affiliate dummy at the ultimate cf course.com phone number Got a phone number in there password all right cool let's do create new affiliate see if that works all right so there we go i have my dummy affiliate set up and let's go ahead and edit this individual real quick so address payment information user settings admin settings and here's where you go ahead and set our affiliate type. So if I want this to be a 20% affiliate or a 40% affiliate, I'd go ahead and make that decision right here. So I'm gonna do 20% for this particular guy. So save affiliate details. And then I can pretend to be the affiliate. So if I hit login as, it'll log me into my dummy affiliates affiliate account and I'll see all the products that they have access to. So large shoes, medium shoes, shoe cleaner, shoelaces, small shoes. So all the products in my funnel, they could click this affiliate tools button here to get a link, the affiliate link right here. So that's where they go grab their affiliate link. They could customize it a little bit if they need to. And you'll want to customize this page as well. Just so you know, you could add, you know, banner ads and text copy and things of that nature, uh, email swipes. So you could customize this affiliate area to help your affiliates sell your products and services. So that right there is Backpack and how you set it up. Now it does take a little bit of playing around with it to kind of get the hang of it, like understanding what an affiliate type is versus what a commission plan is and how they relate to your affiliates. Like it's not the most intuitive platform out there, unfortunately, but if you're already paying for Backpack and you wanna have affiliates, this is a good way to get started. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed the training. Now I have a quick special offer for you. So if you want a digital copy as well as an audio copy of my book here, as well as 20 pre-written emails to make your email copywriting a piece of cake. And I also have a seven figure funnel. It's the first funnel that I built that generated over seven figures of revenue for a small business. And the funnel includes a course on how to set it up and also how to actually sell that funnel to small businesses. So if you're interested in starting a digital marketing agency, that course and that funnel are, are an ideal option for you and there's a bunch of other benefits and stuff bonuses and stuff anyway link in the description down below or there's going to be a little button probably up here in the video if you're interested in checking it out yeah just just check it out if you're interested um and other than that i hope you have a great rest of the day